All right, so from the last video, I showed you how to uh, set up your DVT project environment. Now in this video, I want to uh, show you an example on how to create a model in DVT project. So when you first set up your DVT uh, project, you're going to see that all the files are read only. And that's because uh, DVT wants to make sure that uh, the core files doesn't get modified. So all we need to do here is we need to create a new branch. So on the top, click on create new branch. And let's name this branch. Uh, I'll name this to uh, sample model. And click on submit to create the branch. Now, if I go to my GitHub repository, I should not see the uh, sample model branch uh, got created. Now we can uh, modify the files or add or delete files. So if you go into the models folder, so DVT is going to uh, look at all the files inside the models folder and based on the uh, files. So in this case, we have uh, two model files and a schema file. So a model file is basically just a SQL script. So here, uh, my first dbt model that SQL file is a model, and my second dbt model that SQL file is another model. And the schema file will uh, provide additional information on how you want to prepare the model when you run the transformation. And from the uh, previous video, we create the, uh, my first, here, let me go back. So from the previous video, when I run the uh, sample uh, transformation, we create two tables, my first dbt model table and my second dbt model view. And how those two uh, tables got created is, so when you look at the uh, SQL file, we are providing the SQL statement. On the top, uh, we can provide additional property to override the default setting that uh, we specify in the dbt project YAML file. And this YAML file is going to be how the uh, dbt cloud project is going to interpret how to run your uh, workflow. So for example, if we go to the uh, model section in line 34, so we have uh, our project name, so the project name is going to tie to your project name. So if I change the project name to dbt demo, I need to make sure that the project name are going to be uh, the same because uh, when dbt run the transformation, it's going to, first of all, uh, look at the model section, then look at the project name, then apply the uh, transformation to the models that under this project. And here, uh, if we look at this example folder, we're saying that uh, we're setting all the uh, table models as views. So that means that when we run the transformation, dbt is going to create those tables as view, uh, as default. Now, if I change this to uh, table, and I run the transformation again, and I think I'm going to get an error, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so I guess uh, everything ran successfully. Let me see. All right, so if I go back, and I should expect that uh, both models or both tables are going to be created as tables. Oh, so here uh, my second model got created as a view. Oh, I know why, because I've got to save the file. All right, so let me try again. All right, so when you first run the uh, transformation, what the uh, engine is doing is, it's going to uh, drop the table, then it's going to recreate the table and based on the uh, view type, or mod, uh, not view type, based on the model type. Now, if I go back to my uh, Google Cloud Console, and I'll uh, look at my tables. And this time, both models got created as uh, regular tables. 
And this is one way how to uh, set up your default model view. All right, so I'll change this back to view. And save the file. Now I'm going to uh, build the table from DBT's uh, project. So if you go to add data, pin project, and enter the project name, and if you uh, enter DBT dash tutorial, it's going to uh, link the data sets uh, in your Google BigQuery project. So by default, DBT provides uh, three sample data sets and several uh, sample tables. And for uh, this exercise, I'm going to uh, use their tables to uh, create the uh, models. So here we have a uh, SQL query. And if I run the uh, SQL query, it's going to return, let's take a look. It's going to return 100 records with uh, discounts. And it's going to be the model that we're going to uh, create. And based on this uh, SQL script, we're going to create a table based on this uh, table output and create a table in our data set. In this case, it will be the DBT demo bakery data set. All right, so to create a model, and basically it's a SQL file, we want to add a new file to our model's uh, directory. All right, so I'll name the uh, model customer.sql. So it's going to be a customer table. And I'll paste the SQL statement. Now here we can click on preview to uh, preview the table result. And I'll recommend that you only uh, preview the table when the record size is relatively small. Right, so here we're returning 100 records. And make sure that you save the file. Now if I run the dbt run commit, it's going to create all the models. In this case, it's going to uh, create the models in the example folder, as well as this uh, customer uh, model. And I only want to run the customer model. Now to create just the uh, customer model, so here uh, in the terminal, we want to type dbt run dash dash slash followed by the model name. So here make sure that you only provide the model name while the extension. All right, so if I run the uh, transformation, And here, uh, my customer's uh, table is going to get created. In this case, it's going to be a view because uh, we didn't specify the uh, model type or the materialized type in our project folder. In the SQL script, uh, we didn't specify that want to override the uh, model type. Now, if I go back to my BigQuery console, and I'll refresh the page. Now, if I look at my dbt demo bakery data set here, I should see my customer model is now created. And here, in this case, it's going to be a view, not a table. Now, if I want to create uh, this model as a regular table, so going back to my models file, on the top, and here, let me uh, remove the spaces. All right, so on the top, I want to uh, insert the configuration statement used by dbt. So the sentence is going to be uh, two pair of clay brackets. Then we're going to insert the config function to uh, provide our configuration. And to set the model type, we want to reference the materialized property. And I'll set this to table and save the file. Now if I run the transformation, Now going back to my BigQuery console, I'll refresh the page. Now this time, uh, let's see, the table got created as a view. What is that? Oh, anyway, so here have a typo. Uh, this should be materialize. All right, so save the file and let me try again. All right, so let me go back to my uh, BigQuery console. And looking at the uh, 
customer's table this time. The table is now got created as a regular table with 100 records. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.